Welcome to Friday Night Smackdown, where tonight, a King of the Ring opportunity is on the line. Will Robert Roode be added to the World Heavyweight Championship match on the 18th between Edge and Drew McIntyre? We find out in your main event later tonight. Also coming up tonight, your final first round matches in the Smackdown bracket in the King of the Ring tournament, Braun Breaker. Dolph Ziggler, these two men continue their ever-looming issue in a matter of moments. And also coming up later tonight, another first round collision. It's Johnny Wrestling versus the phenomenal AJ Styles. Who will advance to the second round? Gargano Styles later tonight here on SmackDown. We are live from the NHU Arena here in Manchester, New Hampshire. SH, I can't get it out. Nonetheless, we are live tonight. And we are doing this on the fly. Nobody does it better than the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. It is time to kick off Friday Night SmackDown with a King of the Ring first round match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun Breaker. All right, let's see if we can speak clearly now. Braun Breaker, the blue chipper of the blue brand, Friday Night SmackDown. The last time we saw this man in action was back on the 14th of May at Vengeance when he went one-on-one -on -one with Drew McIntyre and came up short in that World Heavyweight Championship match. Braun Breaker's got all the tools to be a champion one day, and maybe the King of the Ring tournament is exactly what this young man needs to catapult him to that next level, not just on SmackDown, but in the entire WWE. But standing in Braun Breaker's way, an old arrival looking to punch his ticket to the quarterfinals. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Let us take a look at how the King of the Ring bracket has played out thus far. You see who has moved on and who will compete this Monday night on Raw, but who is going to move on to next week on SmackDown to fight Austin Theory and then in the other contest, Randy Orton. The quarterfinals of the King of the Ring next Monday and Friday night. And then, of course, all roads will lead to Sunday night, June the 18th in Philadelphia. The semifinals and finals both taking place on the same evening at the King of the Ring live premiere event. And as we've been discussing in detail over the last number of weeks, not only is the crown of the king on the line in this prestigious tournament, but the winner of the 2023 King of the Ring is going to punch their ticket to August, to SummerSlam, to battle their brand's world champion. A lot riding on the line in each and every matchup. The King of the Ring tournament has been a blast to watch thus far. And here we go, moving us on on SmackDown, Braun Breaker and Dolph Ziggler. These two men have issues over a year ago in NXT when Dolph Ziggler spoiled the first reign of Braun Breaker as the NXT champion, but most recently these two men have been inside the squared circle here on Friday Night SmackDown. Both wins belonging to Braun Breaker. This is the third meeting in just over a month between these two men. And really for Dolph Ziggler, it's about getting back those victories over Braun Breaker. Not only dating back to a year ago, and Braun took away the NXT Championship from Dolph, kicking off his second reign with the gold, but remember a couple of weeks ago, or just over a month ago, I should say, Braun with a dominating victory over Dolph, and then the SmackDown before Vengeance, Dolph wanted to run it back and almost had Braun Breaker on that night, but unfortunately the young man and Braun Breaker was able to overcome the show-off. These two men reigniting that flame tonight, and I don't know if the flame will ever go out. There seems to be an ever-looming issue between the blue chipper of SmackDown and the show-off Dolph Ziggler. But tonight, a lot more rides on the line than just a personal vendetta. Wait a minute, Ziggler taking Braun Breaker over here, going for the pinfall here. I think Dolph Ziggler knows he wasn't going to defeat Braun there, but just trying to get in the head of this young, possibly naive competitor. We speculated back at Vengeance when Braun Breaker was battling Drew McIntyre over the World Heavyweight Championship that maybe Braun bit off more than he can chew. He has all the tools to be a world champion one day. It's not a matter of if, it's certainly when. Braun will be the top of the mountain. His day will come, but maybe it just isn't going to be right now. It certainly wasn't at Vengeance, and Braun Breaker can certainly shut up a lot of naysayers if he can outlast four rounds of the King of the Ring tournament. That is certainly going to be a tall task ahead. The winner of this matchup will move on to next week in the quarterfinals of the tournament. And we'll meet all day Austin Theory. 
Theory defeated one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Mustafa Ali, just last week on SmackDown. What about the shocking return to the blue brand of the Viper, Randy Orton? After being banished from Monday Night Raw back in April, Backlash. Randy Orton officially a part of SmackDown. He defeated the other half of the World Tag Team Champions, Ricochet. Both those men await, await their quarterfinal opponents for next week here on SmackDown. We will find out who that's going to be throughout this evening. Braun Breaker taking the fight to Dolph Ziggler right now. As we already mentioned, we'll say it again. Braun Breaker looking to shut up some naysayers here tonight. And bounce back after that loss to the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre. A couple of weeks back at Vengeance. Both rolling to the outside, just trying to catch a breath. And this blue chipper is eyeing up the show off. Look at Braun Breaker take it to the sky. An amazing athlete is Braun Breaker. And he showed us why right there. Taking out Dolph Ziggler and squashing him at ringside, sending him right back inside the squared circle. Braun Breaker wants to punch his ticket to the quarterfinals, and Dolph Ziggler, however, looking to teach Braun Breaker a lesson or two inside or outside of the squared circle. Can't take your eyes off the show off. These two men have been in there numerous of times, and as we mentioned, Braun has picked up two recent victories over Ziggler, and you got to imagine Dolph Ziggler is more motivated than ever to not only get that win back over Braun Breaker, but move on to fight Austin Theory next week. you got to wonder if Braun Breaker, even though he's coming off a loss at Vengeance against Drew McIntyre, you got to wonder if Braun is taking Dolph a little lightly tonight. Two recent wins over the show-off, even though Dolph, especially in that last meeting, took the fight to Breaker. Maybe Braun's already in his head. Maybe he's looking past Dolph Ziggler. Thinking he's got this one in the bag and he's going to fight Austin Theory next week. All remains to be seen as this matchup progresses here in New Hampshire on Friday Night SmackDown. Nonetheless, Dolph Ziggler not looking to go in and out of this tournament just yet. Nice snap German on Braun. Will that do it in the pinfall? Got the two count there, but not enough to keep the blue chipper down. Still to come tonight here on SmackDown, we are going to see... The whole shebang, Johnny Gargano, one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles, who just last week was in your six-man tag team main event alongside the returning Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows against Imperium. Styles riding some momentum off seven nights ago. Will that play in to his matchup with Gargano later tonight? And of course, in your main event, the Rated R Superstar Edge returns to action. Wait a minute here. Speaking of Edge, there's a spear by Braun Breaker out of nowhere on Dolph Ziggler, and Ziggler survives. Braun Breaker looking to cut Dolph Ziggler in half. The show off having none of it. A hard kick out, but Ziggler at the end of the day was able to get there. Now Braun could have been going for that fireman's carry press slam. Dolph countered, and now Ziggler's going for the kill. Sleeper hold. Will Dolph Ziggler be able to tap out or possibly pass out Braun Breaker and move on to next week? Braun's holding on. He's a tough young kid, but will he be able to survive the sleeper hold here? Look at that. Look at the muscle out of Braun. The roll over on Dolph Ziggler. Dolph, a veteran of taking things to the mat. Former amateur wrestler, but Braun Breaker was able to out-wrestle him there. Now here's Braun maybe fired up after Ziggler survived the spear. Taking out Dolph over the top. And Braun's not done. Big time spine buster by this young man. Former two time NXT champion. Wants to see his name in the lights on Friday Night SmackDown. And a whole new path could start right here tonight in New Hampshire in the King of the Ring tournament. So Braun would love to run it back with Drew McIntyre or whoever is the World Heavyweight Champion. Come August in SummerSlam. Could be the Rated R Superstar Edge. Could be Robert Roode if Roode can punch his ticket to King of the Ring later tonight here on SmackDown. Ron Breaker in the corner. Wait a minute. Taking his eye off the show off and Ziggler with that stinger splash. It really plays into what we said earlier. Is Dolph Ziggler, or should, excuse me, is Braun Breaker taking Dolph Ziggler a little lightly? And I don't think that's a good idea if so because Dolph Ziggler survived that spear, and clearly Dolph, as he heads to the top rope, is looking to do any means necessary to face Austin Theory next week. What a matchup this has been to kick us off here on Friday Night SmackDown just over two weeks away till we head to Philadelphia, Wells Fargo Center, for the 2023 King of the Ring 
which will be taking place during our biggest Universe Mode week in history. Raw Homecoming Super Smackdown, WWE Live at the Hammerstein Ballroom, all culminating at King of the Ring in Philadelphia. It is going to be an awesome event coming up in just a number of weeks. And one of these men wants to be in the conversation at King of the Ring. Ron Breaker got Ziggler to his feet, was able to bounce back after that little bit of momentum here. And look at the strength by Braun muscling up Dolph Ziggler and down to the canvas he goes. Will that do it? Into the cover to fight Austin Theory in the quarterfinals, not just yet. Of course, the finals at King of the Ring will be a SmackDown versus Raw finals and Braun Breaker looking to find his way to Philadelphia, but Dolph Ziggler survives a second spear. How the hell is the show off still in this thing? Braun Breaker cutting Dolph in half, not once, but twice, but the heart, the soul, the resilience of the show off. Dolph Ziggler wants one more run in the main event. He wants the world championship. And Braun Breaker is the man standing in his path right now. Braun is dazed. Ziggler with a super kick right on the button. But you see Dolph is exhausted for this matchup so far. A little bit of a delayed pinfall. Almost had him there. A two count, but Braun survives. What a great contest between these two athletes. Dolph Ziggler, super kick to the jawline. Unfortunately, wasn't able to capitalize immediately with the pinfall, exhausted from the damage throughout this match, and Braun Breaker was able to kick out. We still continue with this quarterfinal, or excuse me, with this first round matchup in the King of the Ring. We're gonna move on to the quarterfinals next week. Of course, the quarterfinals kick off on Monday Night Raw this coming Monday. Continue next Friday night on SmackDown. This coming Monday night on Raw, it's gonna be Tyler Bate versus Shinsuke Nakamura, as well as Cedric Alexander versus Seth Rollins. And Ziggler going for another super kick. Braun Breaker able to dodge it. And a nice maneuver there by Breaker. Taking Ziggler off his feet. Ziggler was going for the kill yet again. Nobody home, but now Ziggler trying to take Braun Breaker off his game. Stacks him up with a pinfall. Will that do it? No. These guys are fighting tooth and nail, all for the chance to move on to the quarterfinals. And Austin Theory has got to be loving what he's watching right now, because whoever survives and whoever moves on to next week is certainly not going to be nearing 100%. Dolph coming off the top, an elbow to the heart. And Braun Breaker survives yet again. Dolph Ziggler questioning what the hell he's got to do to keep this young man down. Ziggler's got his eyes, eyes locked for a second super kick and falls immediately into the cover. That has got to do it. Ziggler, no! You have got to be kidding me. Braun Breaker surviving a second super kick. The egg's got to be scrambled, but Braun is still fighting. Here we go, a fist fight breaking down in this matchup. Ron Breaker counter whatever Ziggler's got in mind. Double spears, double super kicks. Yet the bell still is not told for a second time just yet. A third, a third super kick. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. Ron Breaker reaching out and saved by the ropes. How the hell are these two men still fighting? What an incredible King of the Ring first round match. If you needed any indication of what this tournament means to each and every participant still left fighting in it, look no further than Braun Breaker and Dolph Ziggler's fight right here. Ron rolling to the outside, ducking for coverage, but Dolph meets him with a Cactus Jack-style elbow off the apron. I don't think Braun Breaker was expecting this fight out of Dolph Ziggler. Three super kicks, yet it's still not enough. Two spears cutting Dolph in half, and somehow Dolph is still swinging for the fences. Braun going for the shoulder block, nobody home. 
What is Ziggler going behind? Stack it up, Braun Breaker. Pinfall. Ziggler got him. He got him. He got him. Dolph Ziggler, after everything that these two men threw at each other, Ziggler survives and finds a way to outlast the former two-time NXT champion. What an incredible fight to kick things off. And Dolph Ziggler, at the end of the day, is the man who gets the three count. Here is your winner, Dolph Ziggler. Braun Breaker cannot believe it. He cannot believe that Dolph Ziggler snuck away with the victory tonight by hook or by crook. That man, the show off, is moving on to next week to the quarterfinals of the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament. Seven nights from tonight, the stage is set. Dolph Ziggler, one-on-one -on -one with All Day Austin Theory in the 2023 King of the Ring. Well, we're back live in New Hampshire for Friday Night SmackDown just over two weeks until this man will defend his Cruiserweight Championship in Philadelphia in a first time ever matchup at the King of the Ring. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing La Cano del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar. It is going to be a fight to settle the score. Rey Mysterio threw out the challenge and Santos Escobar accepted for the first time in WWE. It is an extreme Lucha rules. Anything goes, falls count anywhere, two out of three falls stipulation. The winner will leave South Philadelphia, the cruiserweight champion of the world. Santos and Ray have put on two classics with each other throughout this year. Once at WrestleMania, and then of course back at Vengeance, where Escobar became a three-time Cruiserweight Champion. That big time match coming up at King of the Ring, but tonight Escobar's got his hands full with the, with the man making his return for the first time since February. Stand back! And his opponent weighing in at 215 pounds. It is the biggest week in WWE Universe Mode history. It all kicks off June the 12th, Raw Homecoming, June 16th, Super SmackDown. Become a channel member today and don't miss the Hammerstein Ballroom Epic WWE Live event. And then all roads lead this Sunday night, June the 18th in Philadelphia at King of the Ring. Three live premiere events, Raw Homecoming, Super SmackDown, and King of the Ring, all 5 p.m. Eastern time. And as we mentioned, the channel member exclusive, biggest WWE live event thus far, Hammerstein Ballroom Manhattan, New York. The only way to see it is to hit the join button down below and we will have announcements regarding the WWE live event kicking off later next week. It's going to be a huge week, Universe Mode coming up in just a number of weeks here. But right now we got to focus in on this Cruiserweight action, the Hurricane back inside the squared circle for the first time since February, and he's going one-on-one -on -one with your new Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar. As we mentioned, Escobar winning the gold for the third time in his WWE career. Back on May the 14th in Vancouver, Canada at Vengeance, defeating Rey Mysterio in an awesome matchup right throughout the challenge one more time go to the extreme in the land of extreme in philadelphia and wwe's first ever extreme lucha rules match and mysterio word around the locker room is that he gained some inspiration for this contest dating back to his mexican death match with psychosis back at ecw in 1996 similar stipulations in that matchup but a whole new theme if you will in the extreme lucha rules match it is two out of three falls falls count anywhere and absolutely anything goes between Rey mysterio and santos escobar there will be a winner there will be one better man and there will be one true cruiserweight excuse me king of the cruiserweights come june 18th in philadelphia not wait to get to that epic live premiere event it has been the talk of the town here and it is certainly shaping up to be one of the biggest weeks in our history. 
Right now, the Hurricane able to make a successful return to action against the current Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar. Coming off the top with a crossbody and nobody home. Escobar not having none of it. Smarter than his opponent is what Escobar is trying to showcase there. And the Cruiserweight Champion looking to build some momentum towards the 18th of June. And stacking up the Hurricane here. And that may do it. Will that be a victory? Not just yet. Legado del Fantasma in full territory tonight. In full arms, if you will. With eyes on the Hurricane and a focus on Rey Mysterio. And you got to believe at this point, there's almost probably a, a mutual respect between Santos and Rey. And this has ultimately, ultimately become who is the better man. But as we mentioned, we are going to find out. Extreme Lucha Rules, Cruiserweight Championships on the line, just over two weeks. Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia will be live 5 p.m. Eastern time on that night. Escobar sending the Hurricane back inside the squared circle now. And the Hurricane is trying to get his wits about him as the Cruiserweight champ is all over the returning Hurricane Helms tonight. And here he goes. Nice backbreaker there. And a former Cruiserweight champion in his own right could be looking to wrap things up and pick up a successful return to action. Going for the choke slam, and Escobar says otherwise. Oh, and just ragged on Hurricane down to the canvas. Hurricane was trying to pick up some steam there, but Santos Escobar, the cruiserweight champion, a veteran of the ring, just as the Hurricane is. And what has he got in mind here? Sits the Hurricane on the top rope, and I think he's looking to send the superhero for a flight. Look at this big time phantom driver from the top rope. And you could probably count to 20. Santos Escobar sending a statement, a message to Rey Mysterio in a successful dominating manner here tonight on SmackDown. What a win for the Cruiserweight Champion. Impressive as all hell for Legado del Fantasma. Here is your winner, Santos. Escobar, a three-time Cruiserweight Champion, but will that reign be short-lived when him and Rey Mysterio battle it out for the final time on the 18th? Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. Well, the action continues tonight on SmackDown. Tag team matchup Alpha Academy 2v2 against the Viking Raiders plus Bianca Belair. Looking to bounce back after losing the tag team championship. She goes one-on-one -on -one with Caden Carter. And the results of those contests see Chad Gable and Otis picking up the 2v2 victory over Eric and Ivar in the big time tag team matchup. And unfortunately, the bad luck continues for the EST of WWE. Caden Carter picking up a monstrous victory over Bianca Belair to build some momentum for her tag team herself. Well, we are set for our second first round matchup in the King of the Ring tournament this evening and the final first round matchup in the tournament as well. The phenomenal AJ Styles, the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano. This is gonna be a doozy right here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, AJ Styles recently challenged for the United States Championship, and we have some breaking news two weeks from tonight, live for Super SmackDown in Washington, D.C. The United States Championship will be on the line. Imperium's Guther accepting the challenge of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And for the first time in a WWE ring, Guther and Rhodes will meet 
two weeks from tonight, live from Washington, D.C. for the United States Championship. What a monstrous main event matchup that is going to be in just 14 days, two weeks from tonight, a part of the biggest week in Universe Mode history. And AJ Styles, he's got to focus in on Johnny Gargano here tonight. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Well, Johnny Gargano has really been regaining the support of the WWE fan base as of late. It just unfortunately hasn't come with a lot of victories. Gargano has been struggling to find his footing again ever since getting drafted to Friday Night SmackDown, but an opportunity in the King of the Ring tournament can certainly shift Gargano's momentum in a complete 180 direction. Certainly a tall task ahead with the phenomenal AJ Styles standing across the ring, but let's keep in mind that AJ Styles has been a little bit more active than Johnny Gargano as of late. You go back to May 14th at Vengeance, AJ Styles took Gunther to the limit, coming up short in the United States Championship contest. And then just seven nights ago, as we talked about earlier tonight, the return of Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC back together, taking down Imperium in a six-man tag team matchup, but certainly a physical one all the way through. Gotta wonder if AJ Styles, wait a minute, is coming into this match 100%, but I don't think Styles is gonna give Gargano any time to figure that out right out the gate. Charge and Johnny wrestling, and AJ Styles has pedal to the metal since the opening bell. This is your final first round matchup in the King of the Ring tournament for both Raw and SmackDown. And Styles looking to tap out Johnny Gargano with this cross face submission hold here. The winner of this fight is gonna meet the Apex Predator, the Viper Randy Orton next week. Certainly will be a tall task either way you put it for Gargano or Styles. Johnny Wrestling trying to match AJ Styles' energy here. Trying to get back to this matchup. So that discus Larry at moments ago and now Gargano. Same situation as AJ, pedal to the metal. Trying to shift the momentum of this final first round match in the King of the Ring. Incredible first round over the last two weeks on Raw and SmackDown. And as we mentioned, the quarterfinals kick off this Monday night on Raw. It will be Tyler Bate taking on Shinsuke Nakamura, as well as Cedric Alexander meeting Seth freaking Rollins. And then next week on SmackDown, it will be Austin Theory taking on the show off Dolph Ziggler, as you saw earlier tonight. And the winner of this matchup between Johnny Gargano and AJ Styles will meet the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton, next week right here on the Blue Brand in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring. We'll find out next week who will move on to Philadelphia to compete in the semifinals and possibly the finals to determine who will be your 2023 King of the Ring tournament winner. As we already talked about tonight, not only is the crown of the king on the line, but whoever wins this tournament, wait a minute here, wait a minute, look at Styles burning hammer on Gargano. Well, Styles certainly wants the crown of the king and certainly wants the other opportunity that's at stake as well. The winner of this tournament will meet their Brands World Champion in August at SummerSlam, and Styles is itching for that opportunity. AJ is all over Gargano, but look at Johnny Gargano, the man who we once called the heart and soul of NXT, a Grand Slam champion on the black and gold brand. Looking to bring that same style here tonight on SmackDown. Gargano taking some major offense from AJ, and credit where credit's to Johnny Wrestling Getting right back into this matchup. Gonna let the adrenaline flow through you. And maneuvers like that certainly might help get Gargano to the quarterfinals next week. AJ Styles got history with Randy Orton dating back to the beginning of this year when both men were a part of the Raw roster. And then on January the 1st, the Royal Rumble for the WWE Championship. AJ Styles came up short on that night. I'm sure he'd love to run it back with the Apex Predator. As for Johnny Gargano, I mean, what bigger opportunity could you ask for in the King of the Ring tournament and then possibly going one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton? And if Gargano could defeat Randy Orton, what that could do for Johnny Gargano's WWE career? Well, remains to be seen. We don't want to get too ahead of ourselves here. Only one of these men is going to move on the next week. And so far, both men are swinging for the fences. Gargano, went for that discus lariat again. Styles had it scouted. Nice neck breaker by the Phenomenal One. Right under the cover there, we already see Gargano's foot under the bottom rope. Styles had no idea. With that moonsault neckbreaker again. This time Gargano had it scattered as well. Big time Sayo there. 
And AJ Styles taking the fall on his head. Johnny Gargano trying to rally. This incredible crowd tonight in New Hampshire. Nice tornado DDT by the whole shebang of Friday Night SmackDown. Two pound for pound incredible athletes inside of that ring. Fighting it out in your final first round match in the King of the Ring. Gargano on the middle buckle here. What a maneuver that was! Tilt to whirl down to the canvas. Face plan for Styles. Not enough to get the victory, but Styles is going to be feeling that one on Saturday morning. Amazing offense by Johnny Gargano. Not enough to keep AJ down, but certainly going to start tallying up the fatigue on the phenomenal one. Which, as we already mentioned, might not be 100% after some of those recent battles with Gunther and Imperium. AJ trying to get back into this matchup here. And back and forth from the majority of this contest as Gargano trying to steal the victory over AJ Styles, not just yet. Saw Dolph Ziggler sneak away with Ron against Braun Break earlier tonight. Certainly deserved, no matter the case. Awesome matchup that kicked off the show. Gargano wants to put his name into the hat for the quarterfinals. Slingshot on the turnbuckle. Into the cover. And AJ kicks out again, but you see it took a lot out of AJ Styles to pop that shoulder off the canvas. AJ is feeling the fatigue here. Organo may not have put, gotten the job done there, but he's certainly maybe inching one step closer to the quarterfinals. Andy Orton, the Viper, gonna be lying in wait, hoping to strike with his poisonous venom next week. And who will be standing across the squared circle from the Apex Predator? Oh, look at this. Look at this beautiful maneuver by AJ. Great counter into that spinning heel kick. And now Styles, wait a minute, on the apron. Could be going phenomenal. Forearm, nobody home. Crash and burn. And Gargano sees opportunities looking to strike. Johnny Gargano avoiding disaster. Best case scenario there for the whole shebang. But will it be enough? to keep the fight going, keep the adrenaline pumping through his soul, and have the intestinal fortitude to outlast the phenomenal one here tonight. Organo, oh, there's another counter by AJ. He said this matchup has been back and forth, and they are certainly proving that statement, a second burning hammer on Gargano by Styles. Organo with a kick. You know Gargano. Running off adrenaline right there to be able to just absorb that burning hammer and hit that kick reversal on Styles. As we mentioned, they're going to be feeling this one tomorrow morning. They're going to be feeling this one for days to come. Holy hell! Slingshot over the top. DDT on the apron. AJ maybe knocked out cold on spaghetti legs. Here comes Gargano. Suicide dive to the outside. What a match in the first round of the King of the Ring. AJ Styles, a sense of urgency has come over the phenomenal one. But here's Gargano trying to catch him off the ball. Not just yet, Styles survives. I don't know how the hell these two men are still fighting. They've been going pedal to the metal 100 miles an hour ever since that opening bell. Gargano going for the super kick. Styles had it scouted in a clothesline. This is what the king of the ring is all about. A tournament that has been won by so many greats, so many Hall of Famers. Brett the Hitman Hart, Triple H, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Edge, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar. AJ Styles and Johnny Gargano want to add their name to that legendary list. Gargano, simple but effective snap suplex there. Both these men have got to be feeling the fatigue, especially AJ Styles. And Gargano, nice kick. That's a signature out of the arsenal of Johnny Wrestling. Seeing Gargano utilize that slingshot to the turnbuckle, we've yet to see him go for the Gargano escape. If Johnny Gargano can lock that submission hold in on AJ, that may be the recipe for victory tonight. We also saw Styles go for that phenomenal forearm with nobody home earlier. Styles can land that. That may be the blueprint for AJ Styles to move on to the quarterfinals.
That's the clothesline. Our running Gargano here. Nice counter out by AJ Styles. And now Styles heading up. Goes for the 450 splash. And nobody home. But look at Styles. Absorbing the blow. Eating the rib cage. Says he'll worry about it tomorrow. And Gargano now goes for the Insiguri. Nobody home. Styles. Gargano. Fighting tooth and nail for a spot in the quarter finals of the King of the Ring. And AJ might not have been a phenomenal form, but that was a form that knocked Gargano's lights out for sure. He's not done just yet. Styles, brain buster! Johnny Gargano, there is no way he knows where he is right now. Gargano, walking dazed and confused into a path of danger as AJ Styles delivers a phenomenal forearm. And that'll do it. AJ Styles putting down Johnny Gargano after an incredible fight. There's certainly nothing to be ashamed of in defeat tonight. Gargano left everything inside of that ring. But AJ Styles, ultimately the better man here tonight in New Hampshire. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, after two weeks of incredible competition, that will wrap the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. And all roads lead to this Monday night on Raw and next Friday night on SmackDown as the quarter finals of this prestigious tournament will kick off. AJ Styles punches his ticket to meet the Viper. Some storied history between these two men. They reignite that flame seven nights from tonight. It is the biggest week in Universe Mode history. Raw Homecoming, Super SmackDown, WWE Live for channel members, and then all roads lead to Sunday night, June the 18th in Philadelphia for the King of the Ring live premiere event. And coming your way on the 18th of June, the World Tag Team Championships will be on the line. Raw's Judgment Day meets SmackDown's champions, Ricochet and Ali, for the WWE Tag Team Gold. Another interpromotional matchup signed as SmackDown's Shayna Baszler, the Queen of Spades, has earned her right to call herself the number one contender. Liv Morgan defends her newly won gold in Philadelphia. It is the extreme lucha rules for the first time in a WWE ring, and it is Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio looking to close out this storied rivalry for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. What about Monday Night Raw's main event? The prize fighter Kevin Owens with Sami Zayn in his corner will meet the original bro Matt Riddle for the WWE title. A lot of bad blood over the last few months. It comes to a close on the 18th of June. And at SmackDown's main event, the rated R superstar Edge, the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. But this one-on-one -on -one match may be about to come a triple threat in a matter of moments. Because ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time here on Friday Night SmackDown. And for the first time since WrestleMania Sunday in February, the rated R superstar is in action. Robert Roode picked a fight with Edge. Robert Roode wants the opportunity that Edge is receiving at King of the Ring. No matter the result, the rated R superstar contends for the big gold belt on the 18th. But will it be one-on-one -on -one with Drew McIntyre, or will it be a good old-fashioned three-way dance in Philadelphia? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds. Edge returned to Friday Night SmackDown two weeks ago after being traded for the franchise John Cena, who is now a part of Monday Night Raw. Edge confronted Drew McIntyre, set his sights on the World Heavyweight Championship. And then what was supposed to be a homecoming in Toronto last week was spoiled by the glorious one Robert Roode, who ambushed Edge earlier in the day, and then a brawl breaking out during the midst of our main event last week between Edge and Robert Roode up on the stage that has led to this battle here tonight on SmackDown. The issues at hand, and also high stakes for the glorious one, Robert Roode. Roode looking to get his opportunity at the World Heavyweight title, but it all comes down to a victory or defeat here tonight on SmackDown.
from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds. We really need to look at how Robert Roode weaseled his way in to a possible world championship opportunity in just over two weeks. Of course, we don't want to assume anything, but Robert Roode may have definitely put some hurt on edge last week through those backstage assaults. And of course, the brawl that we witnessed, as we mentioned, during the OC and Imperium six-man tag team matchup. Remember two weeks ago here on SmackDown, Robert Roode was defeated by Drew McIntyre in that one-on-one -on -one main event. It was afterwards that Edge confronted Drew, but you gotta wonder if Robert Roode almost fell upstage by the Rated R Superstar on that night. Even though Robert Roode's own misstep is what ultimately cost him and allowed Drew McIntyre to deliver the Claymore kick in their one-on-one -on -one meeting a few weeks ago. Nonetheless, Robert Roode by hook or by crook has got himself the opportunity of a lifetime. Will he get Drew McIntyre one-on-one? -on -one? Not this time around, but he possibly finds himself in a triple threat affair Sunday night, June the 18th in Philadelphia. What is already going to be a stacked night of action on the biggest week in Universe Mode history that will conclude at King of the Ring, quite possibly our biggest live premiere event to date. Will the World Championship be on the line one-on-one -on -one or will we'll be on the line in a triple threat? We're going to find that out in this main event here on SmackDown. Edge and Robert Roode, this is not their first time ever meeting. They met last fall on Monday Night Raw during Edge's WWE Championship reign and Robert Roode fell to the Rated R Superstar on that night. And I think that is also playing into the mindset of both men. Edge knows the last time these two men met all those months ago, he was on the winning ways. I'm sure Robert Roode has watched back the tape, has tried to learn from his mistakes. He's also coming to this a little bit more fired up as there is a championship opportunity on the line. It's all about getting the W, however. Edge is fighting to keep his matchup at King of the Ring a one-on-one -on -one affair and keep the split and the odds 50-50, if you will. Robert Roode looking to change up the whole ball game of both competitors. Of course, there's also the added motivation of Edge tonight trying to get back at Robert Roode for that backstage assault last week on SmackDown, which again really ruined what was supposed to be a Toronto homecoming for the Rated R Superstar, and Edge dropping the elbow. And Edge... Will it be one-on-one -on -one at King of the Ring? Not just yet as Robert Roode gets the shoulder up. Take nothing away from Robert Roode. Former NXT champion, former tag team champion, United States champion. At the end of the day, you gotta get the W's inside of the ring. Robert Roode may have weaseled his way into an opportunity tonight. That's all it is, an opportunity. The only way he's gonna find himself in Philadelphia on the 18th is by pinning Edge's shoulders to the mat. One, two, three. As we mentioned, the last time these two men met, he was unable to do so. So all comes down to right here tonight in New Hampshire on Friday night SmackDown. What has been a phenomenal night of in-ring competition in the midst of the King of the Ring tournament and more here on SmackDown. Robert Roode looking for the pinfall victory, not just yet. And I wonder if there's any ring rust on the Rated R Superstar. As we mentioned, this is his first matchup since WrestleMania Sunday back in February. That may play into the favor of Robert Roode here tonight, who has been way more active than the Rated R Superstar as of late. Look at Edge, not looking to miss a beat. Frankensteiner off the top rope, sends Robert Roode halfway across the ring. There's a reason Edge is a WWE Hall of Famer. A decorated list of accolades throughout his career. He wants another run at the World Heavyweight Championship. And Edge is going to the well with a second Frankensteiner. Edge looking to give the boots to Robert Roode and send him out the door. But Roode survives another moment in your main event. As we mentioned, coming your way next week here on SmackDown is the two quarterfinal matches in the King of the Ring tournament. And that might be ball game right there. Spine buster by Robert Roode. And he's looking for the combination, glorious DDT. And I think we have ourselves a three-way dance in Philadelphia, not just yet, as Edge kicks out. The glorious Robert Roode thought he had it. Spine buster, DDT, but Edge keeps on swinging. 
Another great matchup here tonight on SmackDown. This is what the competition is all about. When opportunities on the line, the best comes out of each and every competitor. Robert Roode got to keep his foot on the gas pedal. And not allow Edge surviving that vicious combo to, to psych himself out and get to the mindset and throw off his blueprint for victory here. Robert Roode's misstep was taking his eye off the ball in that matchup with Drew McIntyre a few weeks ago. It allowed McIntyre to hit that Claymore kick and march his way to victory. Robert Roode's got to stay focused here tonight by hook or by crook if he wants to become the third man in the world title matchup. And a DDT on the apron is going to help him do just that. That surgically repaired neck of edge. That DDT ain't going to do it any favors. And Edge is down and out on the outside of the ring. And Robert Roode is not letting up. Closed fist shots to the forehead, to the nose. Wherever they land is where Robert Roode's going to throw them. Edge is not looking good right now. This is where some of that ring rust may start to favor in to the rated R superstar. Robert Roode just putting the boots on edge on the outside of the ring. Bringing this thing back inside the squared circle. He can only get it done inside of the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Robert Roode going for the cross face here. He could very well tap out edge and make it a triple threat at King of the Ring. He's got that thing wrenched in tight. A little bit of a chokehold here. Referee, I don't think he's... That's the visual to see it, but nonetheless, Edge getting out of it. Oh, look at this. Edge going for a submission hold. Cross face variation of his own. And you see the arm a little bit out of the camera vantage point. The arm draped over the neck of Edge there. At least it was for a moment. And Robert Roode able to get out of it. Whipping Edge off into the corner. See how fast Roode retaliated after getting out of the submission hold. Sense of urgency there out of the glorious one, Robert Roode, who's not looking to let this opportunity slip through his fingers. Nice move by Edge. Edge Amatic. Down goes Roode. Not just yet. Rated R Superstars got to get back into this matchup. This thing was heavily controlled by Robert Roode for a few moments. The spine buster and DDT may not have put Edge away, but it clearly did a number on the rated R superstar. And now Edge is fighting an uphill battle. Middle rope spear! Not the same trajectory that Edge normally has on it, but certainly a different variation to put the injuries on Robert Roode. Roode on the outside here. He's got to get his wits about him. Well, look at this! Edge taking things to the sky! Never count out the rated R superstar. The Hall of Famer still added new tricks of the trade. Cross body over the top rope, taking out Robert Roode, and Edge has found himself back in the driver's seat of your main event. Nice kick. Oh, wait a minute here. Go for a DDT of his own. Execution on Robert Roode. Into the cover. That may do it. Oh, close call as Robert Roode reaches out. And the glorious one is saved by the ropes. Edge almost had him off the execution. Giving Robert Roode a receipt for that glorious DDT earlier on in this matchup. Roode running to the outside. This is what Robert Roode, this is what cost him a few weeks ago against Drew McIntyre. Taught into the audience there. But I think this time he just wanted to go to Edge. And that's exactly what he just did. Crash and burn, Edge on the outside of the ring. And Robert Roode is, within a snap of the fingers, has found himself back in control. Really goaded Edge in there. I think Robert Roode knew that if he purposely made the same mistake from a few weeks ago, Edge would try to capitalize, and Robert Roode had Edge in his peripheral. Had him crash and burn right there. And struggling to get to his feet. Oh, wait a minute, a spear! A spear out of nowhere! Robert Roode never saw it coming! And Robert Roode's king of the ring opportunity just went up in smoke as the rated R superstar got the one, got the two, and most certainly got the three. The spear out of nowhere, the exclamation point, 
on this great main event and the rated r superstar secures his one-on-one -on -one matchup for the world heavyweight championship on the 18th in philadelphia here is your winner the rated r superstar has already had a hall of fame career but never settled is edge and he wants another run with the big gold belt the world heavyweight championship and he will have that opportunity oh wait a minute the world heavyweight champion drew mcintyre making his way down to the squared circle edge stared down this man two weeks ago and threw out the gauntlet for king of the ring mcintyre getting inside of the ring and oh man this is gonna be a big fight feel in philadelphia when that big gold belt is on the line it is gonna be edge versus drew mcintyre for the world heavyweight championship live on sunday night june the 18th at king of the ring the quarterfinals of the tournament kick off next week thank you for joining us good night everybody Based on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.